Hey everybody, it's Deborah from Time is Jewel by Deborah. Welcome to my channel. It is 2023 and I am going to do my first thread up uh, 15 piece unboxing. This is an old box, 8 3 of 22 from Phoenix, Arizona. So we're going to see what we got. So what I do, if you don't know me, um, I open it up, I show you what we've got, and then I will go through each piece, and I will give you a price at the time, and all you need to do is send me an email at timelessjewelbydebra at gmail.com. All the information is down there below in the description box. So, all right, let's see if I can get the tape undone. So I hope you guys had a fantastic holiday season. I had family here. I had knee surgery. And then I also had um, lost my voice for five days. So luckily I, was, I got it back in time for the uh, Denim to Diamonds Marathon New Year's Eve. And that was so much fun. So thank you again, Sue, at Denim to Diamonds Auctions for having me. It's always a great time. Okay. So this is from Phoenix, Arizona. I figured let's get a oh, look at that. They didn't even put air bubbles. They are one of the companies that just are the distribution centers that don't seem to do anything. I'm lucky it's even wrapped in paper. So I ordered this July 28th of 2022. So it's whoop, moving you guys with the box. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. So. Let's see if I can just squeeze it out of here. Sometimes good things come in small packages, so we will find out. So, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, we've had a great 2022, and I'm looking forward to an even better 2023. I am permanently doing Saturday morning uh, live sales every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And I will be doing pop-ups, and there will be uh, guest sellers on my channel. So, just so excited. All right, so, let's kind of see what we got here. We got a bracelet. We got a bracelet. And hey, guess what? We got another bracelet. <laughs> Looks like an Alex and Awning. Got some earrings. Some sugar fix. A uh, necklace. A bracelet. Oh, that's pretty. That looks like a Chico's piece. Um, looks like a dog collar. <laughs> oh, there's two of them. Okay. And they look like Tory Birch, but we'll check that out for sure. And then we got that necklace, this necklace, and I believe that is a necklace as well. So I will lay everything out and we will get started. I will see you in one second. Okay, you guys, I laid everything out. Wow. We got some really cool items. I can tell you we got some Kate Spades, some J. Crew, two Henry Vendels. We have a Lynx of London and some other jewelry. So I am going to clear this off and we'll go over each piece. So we're going to start with the bracelets. The first piece is a Kate Spade. Beige enamel bow bangle bracelet. Can you say that 10 times fast? Here is your Kate Spade logo. It fits seven and three quarters on the bracelet mandrel and across is two and a half inches. And for this Kate Spade, let's do, let's do 15. All right, so the next piece we got is, I love this color, orange. This is a J. Crew piece. You can see it written right, right down there. So we've got a gold tone finish, beautiful orange J. Crew bangle. This also fits a seven and three quarters inch on the bracelet mandrel. It is two and a half inches across. And we can do this one for six. All right. The third item that we pulled out is a really pretty, it looks like it's never been worn, Alex and Ani pink crystal adjustable bracelet. It is in fantastic condition, as you can see. 
really nice pink color there, Rivoli style. So for this Alex and Annie, it is adjustable and it is silver tone. Let's do this for five. All right. Then the next piece that we pulled out, at first I looked at it and I was like, oh, okay, it's cute. And it's even cuter now. It is a Henry Bendel two string, or excuse me, two layer wishbone bracelet. It is marked here on the ends. So you can see it. So this is like a cross between a rose gold and a gold tone. It has rhinestones. It is called the Coat, K-C-O-T-E, Dazar, D hyphen A-Z-U-R, wire bracelet. And I can sell this one. Let's do this one for 40 all right, then we got this. All right, this is 55 grams of sterling silver. This is Lynx of London. I believe they closed in 2019. So it is solid sterling silver. It is marked and I did test it. It fits about a seven on the mandrel to be most comfortable. And these sell for really good money. It is a nice heavyweight piece. I will do this for, let's do this for 100. Gorgeous. Lynx of London. That was a newer name to me. I had heard of them before, but never received one. All right. So next up, we got this bracelet. Now, the metal tastes, the, taste, <laughs> the metal tests as a base metal. But the stone in the center is testing as topaz. So it would be a mystic topaz, which is a trade name for a company that came up with mystic topaz. And um, you'll find it a lot either under um, rainbow topaz. So it's got the greens, the blues, the pink. And it is registering as topaz. I am turning on the Presidium. Topaz is right here, right above my finger. I'm going to move you guys a little bit closer. Wait for that to finish blinking. All right. So we're going to go ahead and test it. And we're, wait we're looking for it to go right into the topaz. So, all right. There we go. goes right to topaz so it is a real gemstone I did test the little ones they are very difficult to test but I believe they are cubic zirconia or glass so this measures in at I think seven inches let me double check it it is a base metal okay so it can go to about a seven and a half I would say more comfortably about a six and, a, and three quarters to a seven so absolutely beautiful let's do this mystic topaz for 12 okay then we got a Tory Burch double wrap bracelet this would be I would call it a deep mustard a cross between a mustard and an orange maybe not quite burnt orange and it is a uh, wrap bracelet it's got two different openings here very nice. It is a patent leather there and regular leather on the other side. And let me go ahead and get you the total measurement on this. Um, you could wear it as a choker if you have a thin enough neck. So this is the way I like to, to uh, measure these. So the first opening you can see is right about 14 and the second is just a hair under 15. So for this Tory Burch wrap bracelet, let's do let's do 20 for that. Usually we get a ton of earrings. I did get three pair of earrings. One is part of a set. So these first ones are silver tone and gold tone hoops. They're really nice. They are Stella and Dot. You can see their marking right there. 
and they're a nice size they're in fantastic condition um, we can do the Stella and dot earrings for let's do those for three slippery little sucker <laughs> All right. then we got a pair of sugar fix these are really pretty these are like a gray bluish gray swirl um, acrylic gold tone hoop they're originally $12.99 Let's do those for three. They're really pretty. Okay. So the next pair of earrings comes with this gorgeous necklace. So here we go. Beautiful greens and bronzes. Now this is uh, faceted Czechoslovakian glass. It does have a tiny bit of a glow to it. The green here glows the best in UV. There is some glow here. It is beautifully beaded. I love that work. I just think it's a fantastic piece. Looks artisan made. Here is the ends. And that is 18 inches. And then here are the matching earrings. So you can see those. They are faceted. Really lovely set. Um, I love this. I think it's it's a nice design change to change to find this um, beading there. So for this one, it measures in about uh, 18 inches, and we can do that for let's do that for 16. Okay. Then we got a lucky brand. So I still have the gem tester on. So this is like an antique brass tone. I don't know if that's a flower or a star and these are semi precious stones um, I did test two of the stones so I'm gonna pull this back out we still have it on so we are going to test a more white stone and let's see if that comes up it does oh, slippery little sucker slid right off trying to hold this here so you can see it and when you use the presidium make sure you let it go all the way down all right so this is testing as quartz and then I'm going to do this one here which is more of a um, pinky color and that is also testing as quartz so these are quartz crystals very lovely design. I love the antique. There's your Lucky Brand. For the this Lucky Brand, let's go ahead and do this one for 12. It is lovely. Alrighty. We did get another Lucky Brand. Now this has some wear to it, but I know these are supposed to look like they have wear to it. So it is an antique brass tone. But I wanted to make sure you guys see that there. So you can definitely tell there's wear on it. And a really nice silver tone chain. Here is your Lucky Brand uh, logo. It is just over 18 inches, I believe. Let me recheck that. I believe it is 18. Okay, so it's 18 inches and then um, about half inch with the extender. So for this lovely one, let's do five since it has some issues. Okay, next up we got a J. Crew acrylic. This is like a really pale seafoam green. Um, and you can see here it's like a brass tone, very light colored around the stones. And then the chain is more silver tone. It is marked, it has its J. Crew hang tag. This is 18 inches. Um, it has some issues with the colorations on the metal so I would do this as craft and let's do that for two dollars then we got this this is gorgeous this is banana republic I am loving their jewelry more and more it is fantastic so we have dangles here crystals Beautiful. No missing stones. This is a leather wrap. It could be faux, but it is fantastic. It has the Banana Republic 
a little hang tag right here. So that is a beautiful, beautiful uh, crafted Banana Republic necklace. And for this one, let's do 15. It is a fantastic necklace. All right. So the last piece had me stumped. So this is Henry Bendel as well. And it is marked and it is on leather. And at first when I saw it, I said, oh my gosh, I got a dog collar. Um, I believe this is not a dog collar and I'll give you my reasons why. So a dog collar usually will have a strap and then it will be reinforced. This is a turn lock. And so this is not very safe around a pet's neck. So... I have come to the conclusion, and maybe you guys can help me out with this. I believe this is a choker. Uh, Henry Bendel does, did, excuse me, the leather chokers. Not quite with this style that I have found, but I'm still doing a little more research. Um, so this is 15 inches, and it can go down to about 14 and a half. So I believe it is a choker. And um, I'm doing a little more research. So if you guys know the style or what's your opinion on this, let me know. So right now I'm not making this for sale. I'm still doing some work on finding out exactly what it is. But it's in pretty nice condition. There's a little bit of wear there, you can see. But yeah, here's the marking, Henry Mendel. And uh, all right. So you guys, this was pretty good. I am happy with this. A nice way to start out the new year. And my next thread up box just came recently. I was lucky to score one during my downtime while the grandkids were here. So I will open that one up next. But this one I had purchased July 28th of 2022. So we will compare. And this was Arizona. All right, you guys, be well, and I'll see you real soon. And don't forget that I'm going to have every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time jewelry uh, live sales. And eventually I will start having guests. So if you guys are interested in being a guest jewelry seller, uh, shoot me an email at timelessjewelbydebra at gmail.com. And I will get you on the list, and I will be sending out information shortly. So... Take care, guys. See ya. Bye.